Here's some exciting news from the Formula One world. Charles Leclerc, the star driver for Ferrari, is sounding the alarm for Max Verstappen and Red Bull. He says Ferrari is catching up fast. With a solid start to the season and a recent win by Carlos Sainz, Ferrari is on fire. Leclerc believes they're closing in on Red Bull's lead. So, are you curious to find out more about this thrilling battle on the track? Let's dive into this video today to know all the details. Ferrari, based in Maranello, wanted to compete more strongly against Red Bull in races. Max Verstappen won convincingly at the Japanese Grand Prix, leaving Ferrari's Carlos Sainz far behind. Ferrari didn't pose much of a challenge to Red Bull. However, Charles Leclerc expressed optimism at the press conference before the Chinese Grand Prix. He thinks Ferrari has the speed to catch up with the fast Red Bulls, so despite the setbacks, Ferrari is confident they can bridge the gap and compete better in the upcoming races. Leclerc is interested to see how the Ferrari behaves. Charles Leclerc feels really good about Ferrari's chances in the Chinese Grand Prix. He thinks they'll be very close to Red Bull's speed on Sunday. Ferrari has already won a race this year. Carlos Sainz, Leclerc's teammate, won in Melbourne last month. Ferrari has been consistently fast this season, coming second in almost every race so far. In the last race in Japan, Ferrari wasn't as fast as they were in Australia where they did really well, but Leclerc is hopeful that they'll do better this time in China. When we talk about the Chinese GP, because of the big virus problem around the world, there hasn't been a race at the Shanghai International Circuit since 2019, so teams and drivers aren't sure how their cars will do on this track. But Leclerc thinks Ferrari will do better in the race against Red Bull. I think we will be closer to them Red Bull in the race, but let's see. Obviously, it's been a very long time since we drove here. I saw the track was painted or something strange on it, so we will have to see how our car behaves on that and the main limitations in the race. But on paper, I think we should be closer to them. But Leclerc is worried about how the car will handle sections where they put down bitumen paint. The Monegasque driver also believes that the level of confidence at Ferrari has been quite stable since the beginning of the season, despite their distance to Red Bull in Suzuka as Leclerc continued saying, On paper, I think it's a track where we could be a bit stronger compared to Suzuka, but we'll just approach it the same way. I still think that Red Bull will have the upper hand this weekend and we'll just have to focus on ourselves because it can be very easy, as we've seen, especially in qualifying in Suzuka. You can do a good job on Saturday and then you don't go from 4th to 5th, but you go from 4th to 8th. It's going to be very important, especially on the sprint weekend. We've got two qualifying sessions this weekend to extract the maximum out of the car on both qualifyings. Then in the race, I think we are quite strong this year. The exciting challenge. This weekend will be Leclerc's third time racing in Shanghai since China hasn't been on the F1 calendar for five years. The last time he raced there was during his first season with Ferrari, and he finished in fifth place. China's return also means it's the first F1 sprint event of the season, which Leclerc thinks will be a fun challenge for the drivers. He said, I have only raced twice here, but it's always been a very interesting track, a very nice one to drive on. It's a track where there are many, many different lines possible, especially in turns one, two and three and all those long corners. There are very different ways of taking those corners, making it exciting. Having only one free practice before qualifying, we'll have to find the best way as quickly as possible. But again, it's an exciting challenge. Warning to Verstappen of further as said, Charles Leclerc believes that Ferrari is getting closer to challenging Red Bull despite Red Bull's strong start to the season with victories in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Max Verstappen, the reigning champion, has been dominant, winning nine Grands Prix in a row and leading Red Bull to consecutive 1-2 finishes. In contrast, Ferrari has achieved third place in both races. However, there are positive signs for Ferrari. While Mercedes and McLaren have struggled to keep up with Red Bull, Ferrari seems to be emerging as the second fastest team on the grid. In Saudi Arabia, Leclerc finished less than 19 seconds behind the race winner, showing that Ferrari is closing the gap. Leclerc's confidence suggests that Ferrari is making progress and is hopeful that they will soon be able to challenge Red Bull for victories. Despite Red Bull's early dominance, Ferrari's consistent performance and improvements indicate that they are on the right track. Moreover, Leclerc shared with Motorsport Italy, we are taking small steps in the right direction. 
The gap to Red Bull is still big, but if we keep working like this, I am sure it will only be a matter of time before we put Red Bull under more pressure. While Leclerc hopes Ferrari will catch up eventually, he doesn't think it will happen in Melbourne. I don't think we will have a lot of new things on the car in Melbourne, so at the moment, we will just have to maximize our current package," he said. At the moment, our situation is this. I think we'll have to wait and see when we have new parts on the car and what kind of step forward we will make. Hopefully that will bring us closer to Red Bull. He also mentioned how Ferrari's progress in Maranello is crucial, but their chances of catching up to the leaders in the Constructors' Championship depend partly on Red Bull's upgrade plans. I am sure our time will come, he said. I don't know what Red Bull has planned regarding updates, but that will determine when we can match them. Leclerc won't have to wait long to see the impact of Red Bull's upgrades. Before the season opener in Bahrain, Helmut Marko from Red Bull confirmed that they will introduce their first major upgrade package at the Japanese Grand Prix, which is the race after the upcoming one in Melbourne, about the Chinese Grand Prix. After being absent for five years, the Chinese Grand Prix is returning to Shanghai, China for the Formula One 2024 season. This race, celebrating its 20th anniversary, will happen in Shanghai from April 19th to 21st, 2024. Chinese Formula One fans are excited about the return of this thrilling racetrack experience. The last race in Shanghai was in 2019, but because of COVID-19, China couldn't host any races afterward. This race will be the fifth in the F1 2024 season, following the Japanese Grand Prix where Max Verstappen showed his winning skills. Before the main race in Shanghai, drivers will practice on the track to get used to its twists and turns. The Chinese Grand Prix is not just any race, it's also the start of something new for the Formula One 2024 season. It kicks off the first sprint weekend, a two-weekend series with many points up for grabs. China was chosen for this special event because its track offers great opportunities for exciting overtaking, making it perfect for the sprint format. Let's talk about the Shanghai International Circuit, where the race occurs. It's a 5.4 kilometers long track with 16 turns, 9 to the right and 7 to the left. One of the most interesting parts is the long flat-out section, which is almost 1.4 kilometers long. But the real challenge for drivers comes at turns one and two, where they face a sharp 270-degree right-hander followed by a quick left turn. Drivers especially enjoy navigating through turns seven and eight, a series of sweeping left and right corners. The lap record set by Michael Schumacher back in 2004 still stands at an impressive 1 minute and 32.238 seconds. The combination of the sprint format with the challenges of the Shanghai International Circuit promises an exciting weekend of racing. Fans can expect thrilling battles on the track as drivers push themselves to the limit to secure victory. It's a great way to kick off the season and set the stage for what's to come in the world of Formula One. So what do you think of the warning to Verstappen by Charles Leclerc? Comment below and subscribe for more.